Hello everybody and welcome to Dueling Network. This is my first episode on this website and it's basically a, well, a site on which you can play Yu-Gi-Oh! The card game. Now, I'm playing against R. Payanen. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But, uh, yeah. We already did two matches uh, just now. The first one was getting really close. Um, you see guys, I, I play with a Dark Magician deck basically, so... And everything around that. And he's playing a, with a um, with a lot of drawing power. And also... Uh, a, well, basically Blue Eyes White Dragon and a lot of other strong dragons, so... Anyway, um, in the first match, it was getting really close. Seeing as I had my Dark Magician on the field, and I was able to destroy all his traps and spells. But then he pulled Starcall on me. And well, that's how I lost my Dark Magician and eventually lost the match as well. And he also has a lot of um, drawing power, as I said, in which he can gain life points quickly. So, And in the second match he just uh, put Blue Eyes White Dragon on his first turn, so I was like, oh, well... Well, basically I was bone immediately. <coughs> so this is the third match and I thought I had a, a nice decent chance with Break of the Magical Warrior in the first turn. But then he had uh, x Dragon Newt, so that really sucks. <coughs> now this is where I was thinking like, hmm, do I want a special summon a Dark Magician? Because I have to pay half my life points, but I didn't have any other choice at this point, so. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm not very good with numbers, so. But in the end, I just went for it, because, well, I kind of had to. So I've been looking at my Dark Magician, and he's on the field. I was really scared to use it, because uh, I didn't trust his set cause. But by now, I I knew that he used a lot of, um, well, effect, uh, effects that evolve around Tron cards and all, so. But he also has lots of uh, Dark Holes and Raikakis. And trap hole, which is uh, yeah, what, what really got me the last turn. Okay, so my dark magician is now up to three thousand attack points because of my uh, mage power, which is the same as his blue eyes white dragon. Okay, let's see what he's about to do now. Yeah, of course, he gains 500 life points because of his solemn wishes. Um, that's what gained him a lot of life points in the, the first duel that we did. Because I wasn't able to destroy his uh, at time, so... Okay, so Mage Power is, is gone now. So my Dark Magician is back to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there we go, another Dark Hole. That's how we got me the first turn, the first duel. Of course, seeing as I had to use the Dark Magic Curtain, um, well, I lost a lot of life points in that, so. Okay, so I placed a hidden spell book to get two spell cards back, but it's a card I recently started using. And uh, you'll see in a bit what, what I mean, because I, I made a mistake that they went back to my hand and back instead of uh, to the top of my grave. Uh, at the top of my deck. Okay, so I got a Skelt Dark Magician. And that's when I got the idea, like, if I use Hidden Spellbook, I can use Dark Magic Curtain again. But, yeah, well, as you guys, as you guys will see... Um, it says to the top of your deck, and that's what I forgot. That's why I made the mistake on my part. Thank God he was there to uh, <laughs> point that out for me. So, yeah, this is basically where I was like, well, fuck. <laughs> and then, of course, I forgot to shuffle as well. But 
But I managed to defeat his fang god, so that's uh, that was nice. I also see that he gained 200 life points right now instead of losing them. And yeah, of course I'm not a right Geki, so... Those cards were really uh, getting the hang of me, and then he, st he spammed the, uh, the blue eyes white dragon, so yeah. That was really unfortunate. He got really lucky with the uh, the cards to destroy my Dark Magician uh, in the first duel as well. You can see a quick overview of my deck. Um, after this duel, I removed some cards and I reduced it back to 40 cards. Because, well, actually, I just this is my first uh, video on the on the channel about Yu-Gi-Oh. So. And I just want to give the uh, 45, uh, fi uh, 45 cards a try. Okay, so I used my uh, magic wand to uh, give my skill top magician um, 100 attack points for each level he gets. So he's up to 2300 attack now. Got a second counter because of his uh, Grace of Charity. Now this is kind of where I um, should have used my Magic Jammer in just a moment. Well, he goes with that, um, yeah, and then he uses uh, Swords of Revealing Light, so I can't attack. Now, I have two Dark Magicians on my, in my hand, which I could have, um, I could have used him. I could have tributed my uh, Skill Dark Magician, but then I was like, well, he has 2300 attack. And Magic Wand will just special summon him back if he gets to the graveyard. But I was thinking like, I should have used maybe my Magic Jammer, but in the end I was happy I didn't. And you'll see why. This is where I'm really not sure what I had to do. Um, because I would have been able to destroy one of his monsters if I would have used Thousand Knights for the Dark Magician on the field. He wouldn't have been able to counter it, seeing as he does not have any set cards. But again, I was like, well, I can't special summon my skill top magician back. And I can't attack anyway, so... But then of course he uh, <laughs> attributes them for the red eyes black dragon. I'm like, whoa, okay, that's that's special. I didn't expect him to use a uh, red eyes. And then he special summons his uh, red eyes darkness dragon, which gains 300 attack for each dragon type in the graveyard. And I was like, whoa, okay. Um, so he gains 1,200. So he has 3,600 attack. And that's where I thought, like, oh, maybe I should have used my <laughs> Dark Magician, so he wouldn't have been able to uh, summon his uh, Red Eyes, but hey. Of course, right now, I'm back to zero spell counters, so that really sucks. And then I just decide to, well, tribute my monsters and go for a Dark Magician this way. Combined with Thousand Knives, which allows me to um, destroy one monster on the field and have a Dark Magician on the field. Which I did. So his Red Eyes uh, is to the grave. But I still can't attack, so that's unfortunate.
Okay, so his uh, sorts of fulfilling light was gone. I was like, oh, okay, this is good. And then he uses another dark hole, and I was like, ah, oh, screw you. But then I used my uh, magic jammer. I had to discard my other dark magician though, but at least I was able to destroy his dark hole. And seeing as the sort of revealing light was uh, no longer on the field. Okay, so I decided to use Summoner's Art to get my third top magician in my hand. I was like, well, you know. Why the hell not? And then I used my hidden spellbook to get my uh, thousand knives back and my wand. This time I do know that they have to go to the to the deck. <laughs> so okay, so I shuffle my deck. And I'm like, well, let's just attack it. Let's see what happens. So okay, a divine dragon, one thousand defense, a normal monster. Okay, no problem. So it's back to his turn now. Let's see what happens. Okay, so he goes is is a lot of deed goes to the grave and I was like, I don't know what what's going on, but that was just a uh, little mistake he made. I was like, ah, well, you know, that can happen. Everyone makes mistakes. Um our pioneer was uh, was really nice to see when I used it in spellbook and all, and I was like, "Well, okay, it's just uh, you know, it 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 can happen, of course, no problem." Yeah, and this is <laughs> where I got screwed. So he uses this effect to sum to get back his other do uh, red eyes and I'm like well fuck you know because he's got two red eyes on the field and he can special summon another dragon in the next turn the only thing I got was magic silent at this point um, and my my deck my spell cost attack really involves around um, cards well spell cards of course but I didn't have any so I decided after this duel as well, um, seeing as he has lots of draw cards and all. And I was like, well, actually, that's a, that's a good combination together with his dragons and all. Because uh, our, our Pioneer was a, uh, a worthy opponent, I'll give him that. But I was like, well, maybe I should get some of those, because they are spell cards, so spell counters will still be activated and I'll be able to, well, get better cards, you know? So I just decided to use my uh, magic silent there because I mean, well, it's basically the only thing I can do at this point. And he still has his other two monsters, which uh, do quite some damage, but I'm still alive. So I was like, well, let's just see what I draw my next turn. And I I draw a magic magician circle, um, which would be useful if I had a spell cast on the field. So. Well, that was basically uh, the first tool. Our Pioneer, if you're watching this, uh, I told him that I would be recording and I would put it on my channel. If you're watching this, thanks for the nice jewels. Uh, you were a worthy opponent. And well, afterwards, we just had a little chat, you know, and we added each other as a friend in case we uh, will just duel again in the future. So, okay, thank you all so much for watching. If you want me to do more of these, well, just let me know and uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Bye bye!